Saint John of Damascus, medieval Greek Ioannis ho Damaskenos, Ioannis o Damaskinos, Byzantine Greek pronunciation, I o Anis o Amashi nos, Latin, Ioannis Damascinus, Arabic, Ina Almshki Allah lc, Yuhana ad Damashki, also known as John Damascene and as Chrysoroas, Chrysoroas literally, streaming with gold, i.e., the golden speaker, was a Syrian monk and priest. Born and raised in Damascus c. 675 or 676, he died at his monastery, Mar Saba, near Jerusalem on 4 December 749, a polymath whose fields of interest and contribution included law, theology, philosophy, and music. He is said by some sources to have served as a chief administrator to the Muslim Caliph of Damascus before his ordination. He wrote works expounding the Christian faith, and composed hymns which are still used both liturgically in Eastern Christian practice throughout the world as well as in Western Lutheranism at Easter. He is one of the fathers of the Eastern Orthodox Church and is best known for his strong defense of icons. The Catholic Church regards him as a doctor of the Church, often referred to as the Doctor of the Assumption due to his writings on the Assumption of Mary. The most common source of information for the life of John of Damascus is a work attributed to one John of Jerusalem, identified therein as the Patriarch of Jerusalem. This is an excerpted translation into Greek of an earlier Arabic text. The Arabic original contains a prologue not found in most other translations, and was written by an Arab monk, Michael. Michael explained that he decided to write his biography in 1084 because none was available in his day. However, the main Arabic text seems to have been written by an earlier author sometime between the early 9th and late 10th centuries AD. Written from a hagiographical point of view and prone to exaggeration and some legendary details, it is not the best historical source for his life, but is widely reproduced and considered to contain elements of some value. The hagiographic novel Bar Lam and Husafat, traditionally attributed to John, is in fact a work of the 10th century. <laughs> <laughs> Family background John was born in Damascus in the third quarter of the 7th century AD, to a prominent Damascene Christian family known as Mansur. The family was named after John's grandfather, Mansur ibn Sarjan, who had been responsible for the taxes of the region during the reign of Emperor Heraclius. Mansur seems to have played a role in the capitulation of Damascus to the troops of Khalid ibn al-Walid in 635 after securing favorable conditions of surrender. Eutychius, a 10th-century Melkite patriarch, mentions him as one high-ranking official involved in the surrender of the city to the Muslims, though information about the tribal background of the Mansur family are absent in contemporary sources. Biographer Daniel Sahas speculates the name Mansur could have implied that they belonged to the Arab Christian tribes of Kalb or Taglib. Moreover, the family name was common among Syrian Christians of Arab origins, and Eutychius noted that the governor of Damascus, who was likely Mansur ibn Sarjan, was an Arab. However, Sahas also asserts that the name does not necessarily imply an Arab background and could have been used by non-Arab, Semitic Syrians. While Sahas and biographers F. H. Chase and Andrew Louth assert that Mansur was an Arabic name, Raymond Lacuz asserts that the "...family was without doubt of Syrian origin." Indeed, according to historian Daniel J. Yanosik, both aspects could be true, for if his family ancestry were indeed Syrian, his grandfather Mansur could have been given an Arabic name when the Arabs took over the government. John was raised in Damascus, and Arab Christian folklore holds that during his adolescence, John associated with the future Umayyad caliph Yazid I and the Taglibi Christian court poet al Akhtal. When Syria was conquered by the Muslim Arabs in the 630s, the court at Damascus retained its large complement of Christian civil servants, John's grandfather among them. John's father, Sargon Sergius, went on to serve the Umayyad caliphs. According to John of Jerusalem and some later versions of his life, after his father's death, John also served as an official to the caliphal court before leaving to become a monk. This claim, that John actually served in a Muslim court, has been questioned since he is never mentioned in Muslim sources, which however do refer to his father Sargon Sergius as a secretary in the caliphal administration. In addition, John's own writings never refer to any experience in a Muslim court. It is believed that John became a monk at Mar Saba, and that he was ordained as a priest in 735. Education One of the Vaidhi describes his father's desire for him to "...learn not only the books of the Muslims, but those of the Greeks as well." 
From this it has been suggested that John may have grown up bilingual. John does indeed show some knowledge of the Quran, which he criticizes harshly, see Christianity and Islam. Other sources describe his education in Damascus as having been conducted in accordance with the principles of Hellenic education, termed secular by one source and classical Christian by another. One account identifies his tutor as a monk by the name of Cosmas, who had been kidnapped by Arabs from his home in Sicily, and for whom John's father paid a great price. Under the instruction of Cosmas, who also taught John's orphan friend, the future Saint Cosmas of Mayuma, John is said to have made great advances in music, astronomy and theology, soon rivaling Pythagoras in arithmetic and Euclid in geometry. As a refugee from Italy, Cosmas brought with him the scholarly traditions of Western Christianity. Topic. Career John had at least one and possibly two careers, one less well documented as a civil servant for the caliph in Damascus, and the other better attested as a priest and monk at the Mar Saba monastery near Jerusalem. One source believes John left Damascus to become a monk around 706, when Al-Walid I increased the Islamicization of the caliphate's administration. However, Muslim sources only mention that his father Sarjan Sergius left the administration around this time, and failed to name John at all. During the next two decades, culminating in the siege of Constantinople 717 the Umayyad Caliphate progressively occupied the borderlands of the Byzantine Empire. An editor of John's works, Father Le Kien, has shown that John was already a monk at Mar Saba before the dispute over iconoclasm, explained below. In the early 8th century AD, iconoclasm, a movement opposed to the veneration of icons, gained acceptance in the Byzantine court. In 726, despite the protests of Saint Germanus, Patriarch of Constantinople, Emperor Leo III who had forced the emperor to abdicate and himself assumed the throne in 717 immediately before the Great Siege issued his first edict against the veneration of images and their exhibition in public places, all agree that John of Damascus undertook a spirited defense of holy images in three separate publications. The earliest of these works, his apologetic treatises against those decrying the holy images," secured his reputation. He not only attacked the Byzantine emperor, but adopted a simplified style that allowed the controversy to be followed by the common people, stirring rebellion among the iconoclasts. Decades after his death, John's writings would play an important role during the Second Council of Nicaea 787, which convened to settle the icon dispute. John's biography recounts at least one episode deemed improbable or legendary. Leo III reportedly sent forged documents to the caliph which implicated John in a plot to attack Damascus. The caliph then ordered John's right hand be cut off and hung up in public view. Some days afterwards, John asked for the restitution of his hand, and prayed fervently to the Theotokos before her icon, thereupon, his hand is said to have been miraculously restored. In gratitude for this miraculous healing, he attached a silver hand to the icon, which thereafter became known as the three-handed or Trichirusa. Topic. Last days John died in 749 as a revered father of the Church, and is recognized as a saint. He is sometimes called the last of the Church Fathers by the Roman Catholic Church. In 1890 he was declared a Doctor of the Church by Pope Leo XIII. Topic. Veneration. When the name of St. John of Damascus was inserted in the general Roman calendar in 1890, it was assigned to the 27th of March. The feast day was moved in 1969 to the day of the saint's death, the 4th of December, the day on which his feast day is celebrated also in the Byzantine Rite calendar, Lutheran commemorations, and the Anglican Communion and Episcopal Church. The 1884 choral work John of Damascus, a Russian requiem. Opus 1, for four-part mixed chorus and orchestra, by Russian composer Sergei Tanayev, is dedicated to St. John. Topic. List of works Besides his purely textual works, many of which are listed below, John of Damascus also composed hymns, perfecting the canon, a structured hymn form used in Byzantine rite liturgies. Early works 
Three apologetic treatises against those decrying the holy images, these treatises were among his earliest expositions in response to the edict by the Byzantine Emperor Leo III, banning the veneration or exhibition of holy images. Topic. Teachings and dogmatic works Fountain of Knowledge or the Fountain of Wisdom, is divided into three parts Philosophical chapters Kephalea Philosophica, commonly called dialectic, it deals mostly with logic, its primary purpose being to prepare the reader for a better understanding of the rest of the book. Concerning heresy peri the last chapter of this part chapter 101 deals with the heresy of the Ishmaelites. Unlike earlier sections devoted to other heresies, which are disposed of succinctly in just a few lines, this chapter runs into several pages. It constitutes one of the first Christian refutations of Islam. One of the most dominant translations his polemical work Peri Heresian, translated from Greek into Latin. His manuscript is one of the first Orthodox Christian refutations of Islam which has influenced the Western Catholic Church's attitude. It was among the first sources representing the Prophet of Islam Muhammad to the West as false prophet and antichrist. An exact exposition of the Orthodox faith Orthodox a summary of the dogmatic writings of the early Church Fathers. This writing was the first work of systematic theology in Eastern Christianity and an important influence on later scholastic works. Against the Jacobites Against the Nestorians Dialogue against the Manichees Elementary introduction into dogmas Letter on the Thrice Holy Hymn on right thinking on the faith against the nestorians on the two wills in christ against the monothelites sacred parallels dubious octoechos the church's liturgical book of eight tones on dragons and ghosts topic the arabic translation It is believed that the homily on the Annunciation was the first work to be translated into Arabic. Much of this text is found in manuscript 4226 of the Library of Strasbourg, France, dating to 885 AD. Later in the 10th century, Antony, superior of the monastery of Saint Simon near Antioch, translated a corpus of Saint John Damascene. In his introduction to John's work, Silvestre Patriarch of Antioch 1724 said that Antony was monk at St. Saba. This could be a misunderstanding of the title superior of St. Simon probably because St. Simon's monastery was in ruins in the 18th century. Most manuscripts give the text of the letter to Cosmos, the philosophical chapters, the theological chapters and five other small works. In 1085, Mikhail, a monk from Antioch wrote the Arabic life of the Chrysoroas. This work was first edited by Baca in 1912 and then translated in many languages German, Russian and English. Topic: <inaudible> Modern English translations. On Holy Images, followed by 3 sermons on the Assumption, translated by Mary H. Allies, London: Thomas Baker, 1898. Exposition of the Orthodox Faith, translated by the Reverend S. D. F. Salmond, in Select Library of Nicene and Post-Nicene Fathers, Second Series Vol. 9. Oxford, Parker, 1899 Reprint Grand Rapids, Michigan, Eerdmans, 1963 Writings, translated by Frederick H. Chase. Fathers of the Church Vol. 37, Washington, D.C., Catholic University of America Press, 1958 E.T. of the Fount of Knowledge, on Heresies, the Orthodox Faith Daniel J. Sahas, ed., John of Damascus on Islam, the "...heresy of the Ishmaelites", Leiden, Brill, 1972 On the Divine Images, the Apologies Against Those Who Attack the Divine Images, translated by David Anderson, New York, St. Vladimir's Seminary Press, 1980. Three Treatises on the Divine Images. Popular Patristics. Translated by Andrew Louth. Crestwood, N.Y., St. Vladimir's Seminary Press, 2003. ISBN 978-0-88141-245-1. Louth, who also wrote the introduction, was at the University of Durham as Professor of Patristics and Byzantine Studies. Two translations exist of the 10th century hagiographic novel Barlam and Husafat, traditionally attributed to John Barlam and Oasif, with an English translation by G. R. 
Woodward and H. Mattingly, London, Heinemann, 1914. The Precious Pearl, The Lives of Saints Barlaam and Oasif, Notes and Comments by Agustinos N. Cantiotes, Preface, Introduction, and New Translation by Asterios Gerostergios, et al. Belmont, M.A., Institute for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies, 1997 Topic. Notes Topic. References, <references>